everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another die cast restoration video so since the last one I hope everybody's keeping well and uh, looking forward to this video this time okay so this uh, restoration video it's on a model that was kindly donated to my channel by Martin Dare and I'm sure everybody that watches my channel also watches Martin's channel and um, you will know him very good modeler so um, yeah he kindly donated a big box of models to my channel to me um, which you've probably seen in one of the past videos of purchases and donations and this is one of the models that was in the box so I thought I'd get, get on and do it. It's taken me a little while because I did need to order some bits from model supplies and um, you know I did a big order in one for some other models as well so I was waiting for the stuff to come so it has taken a little while to do it uh, I've done it in my own colors because I prefer them well I prefer the color I've done it to the color that um, Corgi did it and um, yeah I think it hasn't turned out too too bad right so I guess there's nothing more to say except, as always, please sit back, relax, enjoy watching the video, see how I got on with this one, and I better tell you what it is, it's a Corgi Toys Fiat 2100, so let's get on with it. Okay then, let's take a closer look at this one. Now as I said in the title, this one was very kindly donated to me by our good friend uh, Martin Dad. And um, I'm sure most of you will have, uh, or are subscribed to his channel. Very good restorer. Right, so first off, there's a headlight missing, jeweled headlight. Um, they are yellow, these. Probably because it's um, an Italian car, but they might be going back um, in white or clear. Um, it's in good nick, this one. Casting's nice and straight, nice solid base. Um, the window unit's got a crack in it, so we will be replacing that. It's got a nice interior. The blind's in the back. Obviously, because it has never been undone by the looks of it. Um, tires are a bit perished again and hard, so we will be replacing those. So, what's that? Fiat 2100 Corgi Toys. So we've got three rivets, we might have to file them a little bit flatter before we can drill them. We might get away with it. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be going back that colour because I'm not a great fan of that colour. It's sort of a, a, a purpley browny, I don't know what it is on the roof and a, and a sort of a a pinky, pinky colour. Um, 
on this. Uh, I, I don't know what colour I might do it white, I'm not sure. I'll have to see. I'll have a think about that one. Anyway, meantime, we're going to get the tools out and we'll start taking this apart. Right, okay, let's get the rivets drilled out on this one. I've made a, a little simple in there with a uh, punch. I just start off with a smaller drill bit. on that one. Right. Get a screwdriver. Let's see if that's enough. It's a good place to, to prize with a screwdriver. Oh well there, oh, that's come out. Easy, I've drilled enough. Um, that's where the caravan tow hooks go. Hook up in that little dome. So that one's come right out. Okay. So there wasn't much prizing at all. So there's very little inside this one. Um, these axles... Um, I'll use the puller to get the wheels off I'll do that in a minute because they have to come off to get them out because you can't you can't just lift them out they're sort of all enclosed so it's got good suspension so that base is all in good condition the tyres need replacing because they're all perished and old Right, we got this interior, which is very, very flimsy. It's had a few donks in it. Somehow it's been pushed up, I don't know how. In the, in the corner there. But it's very easy to go through them. They're just pushing it gently with a cotton bud. Probably won't get it any better than that. Anyway, that's okay. Right, so that's that bit that can go in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, the blind. It, it slides in under the glass 
So, yeah, the glass will probably have to come out to get that out without breaking. And again, we've got um, a big wide rivet on that. So, I don't know whether to melt that off or drill it. I might drill it actually. Put a big drill bit here so I can get it out jammed in my tub. We don't want to be going through the roof so we've got to be careful. So that comes out like that. I'll put this all in the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, I am ordering a new um, screen. So, but this one, you know, in an emergency, well, it's got two cracks in now, but I suppose in an emergency or to repair something, it's actually got three cracks. Look. Actually, four. <laughs> so yeah, I will. Um, I will um, keep that. It might be handy to repair another window unit for something else. So that blind will have to go in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now, when I looked at it before, I didn't notice, but you see the windscreen pillar is broken at the top. It's cracked, so we'll have to sort that out. Now, we've got this jeweled light in here now the, the cups are still in there I don't know if you can see the cup is still in that side even though the jewels missing and um, obviously this one's still in here so uh, I'll push those out with something I don't know what to push them out with I don't want to damage them Not that drill, but see what I can push that out with. Mm. Need something blunt. Okay, I'll just push this one out with a punch, but the the little the actual light has gone flying out across the room and onto the floor. It's the cup I want, not the actual jewel head light. Okay, so that's that bit out. Um, now let's have a look these these wheels. I've got my little puller here again. Just excellent little tool. the hub. Boom, there she goes. Perfect. Great little tool. Okay, so that's one out. I'll have to unwind this to get the other wheel off it. There you go. and lose these little jewel dead light pieces. I should have a tub. I should have a tub handy. I'll get one in a minute. Alright. Okay. Oh no. It's gone a bit cockeyed that one. So 
Sometimes they're hard to keep centralised. But they are, I see it's coming. It's off. Perfect. Right, that's that then. Okay, so all this now, the body, oh, the body and the base and going to the uh, caustic soda. Okay then, see you over there at caustic soda bath. Okay, here we are then, all cleaned up. Um, wire wheeled, ready for the primer. I have glued the top of the pillar. Um, it's not focusing. Eh, come on, focus. No, you just don't want to focus. Um, anyway, I've super glued it, so I'm going to put the primer on. And then I'll have a look. If you can still see the crack, then I'll have to put a uh, very thin layer of filler in there. Okay, I might have to file a bit because I think you can see the lump, a little bit of a lump of a super glue in there as well. Okay, so done the base. That's cleaned up, ready to go. So we're going to go and put the primer on that and then see what it looks like. Right, okay, that's done in primer. Now, what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to spray the top of the roof, um, I'm going to spray it black because I've seen a colour scheme on uh, Google Images and I like it so that's what I'm going to do. I won't tell you completely what it is now, um, we'll see once this is sprayed black and then I'll see what I've got a mask off. Okay. Right now I've done the black. I've had about four goes and it went all funny the first time uh, so I had to clean it all off again, start again and then it went funny the second time, went all ripply and horrible so to clean it off and do it again and um, I've done this three times now so this is the fourth time lucky so what I need to do now is to mask off the roof part and a bit underneath, underneath the roof there at the back like on the inside actually you could just stuff something right up on the inside to be honest and what I'm gonna do um, for the body color now where did I put it oh, can't find the paint now I put it somewhere aside so that I knew what I was gonna do so I could show it to you and I don't know where I put it now oh there you go there you go. So I'm going to do it this sort of greeny colour. It's a very paley green. So that's the colour I'm going to do. That and the uh, with the black roof should look alright. I hope. Anyway, we'll see. Okay. So I'm going to get on and mark that off. Right. Okay. Let's see. If we get this tape off. And see what kind of mess I've made of this. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing with the camera in front of me. Right, this. Roy and see what's happening here. I haven't worried too much about in there because the glass is going to cover it anyway. So I'm not too too fast. this way
sorry, I'm going out of shot. And just one little bit more. The camera's right in my way, so I can't see properly what I'm doing. That's why I keep going out of shot, so I'm sorry about that. This is low tech tape, but bloody hell, it's stuck quite hard. Right, and I put him this way. Easy does it. Okay, not too too bad. Got a better line on this side than on the other side, but I might have to just touch a little bit up on that corner there. Haven't quite gone far enough. Maybe a little bit there as well. But that's pretty good. That's not bad. I'm not not uh, you know. I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, well I'm going to leave that dry now for, I might touch it up and then um, leave it dry for 24 hours or so before going on to the next bit. Okay. Right, okay, here we go. going to put the jeweled headlights in. I better put my glasses. I'll get a cocktail stick first for the glue. There you go. Oh, I've got my gem tack again, as usual. It's getting thicker and thicker every time I use it. Like glasses. Okie dokie. Here we go. So, I'm going to put Hmm. A little bit of glue in each. Too much in that plumbing side. Not enough in that side. Right. I might have to. Um, Just put that because I think I put just a bit too much. It's difficult to get the uh, the the right amount. That should do. Right. Okay, let's move them over here. Okie dokie, then let's have a go. Just for size, these they're almost too big. Uh, all right. As I've said before, that gem tacket dries them. Um, it dries. It's translucent, so you're all right with that. Yeah, that doesn't look too too bad. I'm 
I had gone around the outside with with the Molotov, but it's um, well, it's, it's sort of gone dull a bit. I did that ages ago because I've been waiting for the parts from Model Supplies, and it actually came yesterday at last, which was what was yesterday. Um, I don't even know what today is. Ah, it's the 6th of September, so they came on the 5th of September. And they were ordered about the middle of August. So there you go. But I've had plenty to do in the meantime, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's that bit done. What I've got left to do is polish the wheels. Um, and then we can start reassembling it. I've got the wheels in there, so I'll just put the axles in the drill chuck to do these, the two that are still on there. And then um, I might, I'll, I'll put a nail or something through the others to put in the drill chuck to polish those. Okay, so I'm going to do that off camera and then. Once I've done that, it'll be time for the assembly. Okay. Right, okay, so everything is done ready for assembly. Um, i put the jeweled headlights in. I've done some black wash in the front grille. Done the indicators. Uh, done the little badge in the front there. Done the back lights. I've probably already shown you this, I can't remember because this has been going on for quite a long time. This model, I've done the indicators in the wings, but I was too scared to scrape this line because it's okay, but it has got some little chips in it. So I was a little bit apprehensive about doing that, so I've, I've left it. Um, I actually, um, well, I've I've I done the field marshal, but you know I I done the field marshal. I scraped it after I decided not to scrape this one. Um, I know I've shown you the video first, but this has been going on for longer than the the, the field marshal. So um, that's where I'm at. I'm going to put the number plates on it after. So I've got the reproduction windscreen. Must remember to put the blind in the back. I've already put the tires on and the wheels back on. I did have to find another wheel because I dropped one on the floor and I don't know where the hell it went. I kind of saw how where it went in a way, but I've looked down there, every, I've moved all my paints, rack and everything, can't find it. And I did have my magnifying glasses on when it fell, so I couldn't see properly where where it went. You know, I saw it move towards my paint rack, but it's gone. So it might turn up one day, but <laughs> not in time for this. So I did look through some spares I had, and I did have another another wheel exactly the same. Okay, so I think this is going to be a bit of fun in games, this one. I do need my five second fix because I've got to put this window unit in and I want to glue it um, because of the blind and I think the best way to do it is using the five second fix so that's what we're going to do so let's move this lot back out of the way a bit now I'll put the five second fix on there Hope you can see what I'm doing. Um, might take a little while for it to come out because there's not a lot left. And it's starting to come. So I'll put a bit around there. Come on. There it comes. There he comes. I'll put a bit there. And a bit there. A bit there, and a bit there, there you go, 
and I've got my new torch there for the ultraviolet light. This one. Right, so what we need to do is put the blind in. Um, oh god, I've got fluff stuck to that. So the blind's got to go up through there and it, it when you push it into the car it kind of pushes it against the back window but it's not brilliant boom that she snapped in there okay so I'm gonna put this here we go so again <laughs> put this down there I want it I'll use the torch to push it down as well this is um, a torch for uh, drying ladies nails when they put their nail varnish on and I did get it off I might have mentioned this before um, I got it off a site called Temu so it's T-E-M-U and they do everything um, they sell clothes household stuff all sorts of stuff and um, they got a lot of model stuff like you know um, like model trees and that for model railways and um, bushes and all that sort of thing scenery um, they sell um, like little planks of wood like out of bamboos which is quite good I've bought um, I haven't bought those but I have bought some coffee stirrers which are a lot better quality than the ones I've been getting from Costa um, and they do a lot of modelling stuff and um, yeah it's, it's quite good so it's worth going on and um, if they say they're going to post to you by a certain date and it doesn't come by a certain date they give you five quid they give you five quid credit and I've had, I've had quite a lot of five quid credits from them so it's well worth well from my point of view it's well worth buying stuff on there and it's not expensive it's very cheap stuff um, I bought some low heat um, like welding rods I suppose it's a bit like soldery stuff and um, yeah it doesn't cost a lot so they even sell dinky toys the, the Atlas dinky toys so it's worth going on to look for that well worth a visit have a look just google it temu t-e-m-u and see what comes up i'm glad i did uh, one of my work colleagues told me about it and i thought i'll have a go on it there's another one shein so s-h-e-i-n that's another site which is very very similar but i did find that stuff was very marginally more expensive on that one than on the Timu one. Um, and then just to tell you, I'm, I'm sort of advertising it, but I, I got no association with them, apart from the fact that I buy stuff. So, you know, I found it worthwhile. So maybe some of you might find it worthwhile as well having a look. Okay, enough of the waffle. Now let's get back to the old model here. The old glue must have gone off now. And that blinders nicely set in the back so that's cool right here we go we've got to put the interior in now so that's very very flimsy but there you go let's hope it's all right now got to put this in the base on and hopefully It'll all be okay. Yeah. Right, so let's get the old glue down the holes. Oh, my glue lid seems to be glued on quite tight. I need the old pliers to get it off. There you go. That's got it. Pliers. Mm. Don't worry about it, it's Friday and I'm happy. I've got the weekend off. Great. 
it's nice after a long summer of working weekends to suddenly you know having the weekends off again it's nice it's a lovely hot day here it's about 25 degrees but tomorrow it's forecast to be pretty shite actually I'm gonna I'm gonna take that off because I don't want to get glue all over the base plate like I normally do <laughs> you know that's normally my favorite trick look at that a eh? three rivet posts with one dip of the old glue pot I'm getting better mind you the rivets aren't in yet so I better not sake too much eh right put the lid on my glue I must buy some more of that I haven't got a lot left right here we go the rivets I haven't had to file any of them It'll go in. I've managed to drill the posts out deep enough. These tweezers again I bought on that Sheehan. Not Teemu this one but Sheehan. So they're really nice tweezers. Really good. Loop a day. Chuck him down. There you go. Last one in. Straight in. Perfect. That's how I like it. That's how they should all go. <laughs> but that's not how they all go. But that's how this one's gone. So we're alright this time. Okay, I'm going to leave that dry a little bit. And then um, we'll come back to it. Good o, good o. Right, okay, we seem to be done all right. The blind has stayed straight in the back, thank goodness. Right, number plates. Um, blah, 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 blah. I did have one year, I've lost it. Oh. Right, I'm going to have to cut some new number plates for this one. So I'll, I'll just get that ready and then I'll come back to you. Right, we've done that. Number plate on the back. Number plate on the front. Jersey number plates again. I made them so I just as well use them up. I know I'm going to have more than one model with those number plates on, but hey, who cares? Right, well, that's it then. Another one saved from the uh, Corgi scrapyard. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've quite enjoyed doing this one. And my thanks to Martin Dares for sending me this one. Um, I've got quite a few more of these to do that he sent me so like I say thank you Martin for that um, I've done it my own colours I prefer those colours I think they look quite nice um, yeah so that's that then another one done right so I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I'm going to do the still shots outside outdoor shots and then we'll put it on the turntable as per usual compare before and after and um, yeah if you've liked this video I do hope you come back next time for another die cast restoration um, yeah so until next time look after yourselves take care and we'll see you then Cheerio for now. Have a good time. Bye. See you next time.